In this JavaView online training video, I will be demonstrating different ways to color sequences and alignment. JavaView has a number of different color schemes. Some are dynamic and use conservation and consensus analysis to determine colors. These color schemes are rendered behind any sequence feature colors, so it may be necessary to disable those features. This can be done by going to the View menu in the Alignment window and unchecking the Show Features option. I have loaded the alignment PF03460 from the PFAMSEED database using steps as demonstrated in previous videos. Before you start, ensure the Apply Color to All Group flag is not selected. To color the alignment, go to the Color menu in the Alignment window and select a color scheme. Clustal X is a popular color scheme based on the default colors of the Clustal X program. The Zappo scheme colors residues according to their physico-chemical properties. The residues can be colored according to other features such as hydrophobicity, helix and strand propensity. Further details on each of the color schemes can be found in the JavaView online help. Specific groups within an alignment can be colored by using the left mouse button to select the group of interest. A context menu will open by clicking the right mouse button, then select Selection, Edit New Group, Color Group and select the desired color scheme. This can be removed by placing the cursor within the group, right clicking the mouse and select Selection, Remove Group. Percentage Identity is a dynamic colouring scheme. The resulting colour depends on the group being selected. The results of colouring the whole alignment is different from colouring a small selected group. The residues are coloured according to the percentage of residues in each column that agree with the consensus sequence. The residues that agree with the consensus are coloured darker. Thresholding can be applied to the colour scheme. These hybrid options are grouped at the bottom of the colour menu. For example, the By Conservation option will modify the intensity of the colours based on the degree of conservation. Using the Taylor colour scheme, if I select By Conservation option in the colour menu, a slider will appear. Moving the slider from the left to the right will change the intensities of the colours. Selecting a high value to the right will colour only highly conserved columns. Annotation data can be used to colour the alignments. Checking the By Annotation option, opens the Colour by Annotation dialog box. I select which annotation I am interested in and it's possible to modify the colour and the threshold levels. Users can change the colour of text by selecting Text Colour in the Colour menu and select the colour required before clicking OK. Users can also customise their own residue colour scheme by selecting user-defined options in the colour menu. Then click on the amino acid of interest and select the colour. I want to colour only the amide amino acid residues. I select the colour for the asparagine and the glutamine. When done, I apply colour scheme to the alignment. I can save the colour scheme, which means it will appear in the colour scheme list for future use. For more information, please look at our user manual on the JavaView website at www.jalview.org. And do check out our other training videos. Goodbye.